Wabajack is an automated modless installer. It does almost all of the work for you. All you need to worry about is finding a mod list that you like. If you've never modded a Bethesda game before, then let me break down the typical process. First, you download your mod manager. Then you go to your mod site. I usually stick to nexusmods.com, but there's a lot of other sites out there too. Step three, download the mod. Step four, install the mod. Step five, repeat. Step six, something funny, maybe. Uh, laugh track? <laughs> Oh, and before you're finished with this video, please give it a rating by using one of these two little buttons here. Now, there are a few things to be aware of before you jump into using Wabajack to mod your game. To install a mod list, you should probably start from a clean install of Skyrim. The game needs to have been purchased from Steam. Wabajack really only works with Mod Organizer 2, so if you want to add additional mods, you'll need to do it through MO2, not Vortex or any other mod manager. Which brings me to my other point. You can still add any additional mods to the list that you want, even if you use one of my mod lists or anybody else's. But if you need help with the Wabajack mod list and you've added some custom mods they may not be able to help you. Anyways, multiple mod lists cannot be stacked on top of each other so again you can add additional mods yourself but you can't at this time merge two Wabajack mod lists together. I know, sad face. So if you find another mod list that you like, you'll have to use only that mod list. The mods from your original list will not be included. Okay, lastly, if you do not have a Nexus Premium account, don't worry, I don't have one either, then you're going to have to manually press the slow download button for all the mods required by the mod list. This could be a problem, especially if the mod list has like 700 mods. That's a lot of mods. But don't worry, I'm gonna be creating tons of mod lists, tons and tons and tons, just, you know, a lot of mod lists, all with a smaller total number of mods that give you the best bang for your buck. If you'd like to check out these mod lists or give me ideas for future lists then join the discord server below all mod lists will be provided to you free of charge forever and not just because i have to no really you can't charge people for mod lists it's against the terms of use what so how am I supposed to become the next Bill Bezos if I can't enact my master plan of providing a service that everyone likes and then slowly but surely increasing the price until it costs them their firstborn child? I'm confused. God, capitalism used to be cool. You know what I mean? First step, let's clean Skyrim. No, not like that. We'll start with uninstalling Skyrim through Steam. It's also a good idea to delete the Skyrim special edition folder under documents slash my games. But be sure to back up your saves by copying and pasting them somewhere else if you don't want to lose a specific saved game. But be warned, corruption could still occur, especially if you've installed mods on that saved game you're wanting to keep. If you boot up the exact mod list of that saved game, you should be okay, but no guarantees. Scary. Well, I mean, not really, unless you've spent like a thousand hours on a single save. But I mean, come on, isn't this game like a thousand years old by now? Aren't you ready for something new? Go ahead and reinstall Skyrim. Once it's finished installing, let's boot up Skyrim so that it can generate some files for us. Start the launcher and let it do its initial graphics check. Once you're to the main menu, go ahead and exit the game. Now, let's go to wabajack.org and grab the latest version of the software. Place the wabajack.exe in a folder on your drive, preferably under C, and not in your desktop, downloads, or program files folders. I'm going to create a folder called Wabajack and place the exe there. Now open Wabajack and click the Browse Mod List to view all of the official Wabajack mod lists. Each of these mod lists has their own GitHub page and installation instructions. But like I said before, installing those without a Nexus Premium account is going to take some time. Instead, you can also join my Discord and download the exact mod list that I'm going to be installing in this video. This mod list was designed to give you a good starting point so that you can add any additional mods that you'd like. There's a lot of prerequisites for other mods in this mod list. The mod list includes essentials like SKSE, Sky UI, the unofficial Skyrim patch, and all the stuff that you'll likely need to install as a requirement for other mods. Now, this isn't going to include everything you'll need, but it's a good start and a good example for me to use in this video. Also, in the in the near future, I'm going to be providing a plethora, plethora, oh wow, that's a big word. Go chance. I'll be providing a plethora of mod lists through my Discord if they're not there already. It depends on when you're watching this video. The mod lists I create are designed to be added to and will not have hundreds and hundreds of mods, so you won't have to worry about pressing the slow download button for hours. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my basic mod list here from the Discord. I'm saving this list into my mod list folder. I'm going to go back to Wabajack and select install from disk option. For target mod list, I'm going to navigate to my mod list folder and select the basic.wabajack file. Now when these lists get installed, it basically creates a separate MO2 instance with all those mods included. So I'm going to select my instance folder that I have created and place it in the basic folder that I also created. Now for each new mod list you install, I'd go ahead and create a corresponding folder just to keep everything organized. The download location should automatically be filled in. Now press the blue play button to get things going. So what Wabajack is doing is it's reaching out to nexusmods.com or any other modding site that is connected using their API to download the mods for you. But like I said before, if you do not have a Nexus Premium account, 
account, then we have to press the slow download button on each mod downloaded. For this mod list, there's only about 8 mods that we have to download, so it should go by pretty quick. Once the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch is finished downloading, we can press the close button. Next, I'm going to the folder that I chose to be the installation location. For me, it's modding slash instances and then basic. Go to the game folder files and copy all of the contents. Then paste all of these files into your Skyrim Special Edition Steam game folder. Scroll down in your MO2 instance folder and select the mod organizer executable. This is a fully functional version of MO2, so you can use this just like any other mod manager. Now make sure the SKIC is selected in the drop down and press go. SKIC is a script extender for Skyrim which allows a lot of mods to work. You'll need to launch your game each time using this executable. Press the run button. If you notice that your game is no longer full screen or the screen is smaller than it should be, then close out, go back to MO2, and in the drop down select Skyrim Special Edition Launcher. Change the options to match your aspect ratio and resolution of your monitor. For details, select the graphics setting that you would normally use. Deselect windowed mode for full screen or select windowed mode and borderless to ensure that the game fits your entire monitor. Back in MO2, reselect SKSE from the drop down and press run once more. Start a new game. As you can see, race menu is installed, alternate start, sky UI, and a few others. And seriously, it's as easy as that. So you can see how powerful this tool can be. All you need is a mod list and you can get some crazy mods in your game super easy. Without all the hassle of configuring and getting things installed in the right order, everything should just work if it's a good mod list. Okay, so real quick, let me show you how you could add additional mods to your list if you so desired. Open up nexusmods.com and navigate to Skyrim Special Edition page. Type in grass because you know, I love grass mods. I'm going to download Northern Grass. Yes, again. Quickly look through the description, check the requirements, make sure that no other mods are required to make this work. This mod needs nothing else to function properly. So now we're going to head over to the Files tab and select the Mod Manager Download button. Prompt should appear at the top of your browser. Also to know, I've seen some people have issues with this popping up in Firefox. I know it can work in Firefox, there just may be some additional configuration that you need to do. Head back over to MO2 and you should see your mod downloading. Once it's finished downloading, click on it and select the install button. Check the box next to the mod. Now with Mod Organizer, you need to either manually adjust your load order or run the loot tool. To run loot, which is an automatic load order optimizer, select the plugins tab and then press sort. Scroll through and look at the notes if you'd like. Once it's finished, you should be good to go. Once it's finished, you're good to launch the game through SKSE. Now, just verify that the mod is installed. It looks like we're good to go. And that's pretty much it. So we looked at how to install a complete mod list with Wabajack, and then also how to add additional mods to that same list. Hey, I created a Patreon. Whoa, 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 hold your pitchforks. I love making videos for you guys, and I want to do this full time. I want to be able to provide you with better and more frequent content. Just to be clear, liking this video is plenty of support, but if you want to do something extra, then I figured I should at least provide an avenue for you to do that. So on my Patreon, I post sneak peeks of upcoming videos, give a closer look into my personal life, and you get recognized in our Discord server. Ooh, ah. All right, you all are beautiful. I hope you have a great day, evening, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.